Click on dropper A and B. Observe what happens. Which beaker do you think has a higher concentration of potassium manganate? Click beaker A or B. Excellent! Let's prepare a known concentration of a solution. The beaker contains 16 grams of copper 2 sulfate. To pour the copper 2 sulfate solution into a 1000 cubic centimeters volumetric flask. To add enough distilled water to make 1 cubic decimeter of solution. The concentration of the copper 2 sulfate solution you have just prepared is 16 grams per cubic decimeter. From the activity that you have carried out, the concentration of the solution is the amount of solute that is dissolved in a given volume of solution. The amount of solute can be measured in grams and the given volume of solution in 1 cubic decimeter. Thus, in this activity, the solution's concentration is expressed in gram per cubic decimeter. But there are several other ways of expressing solution concentration. We can also measure solution concentration through percentage by mass, percentage by volume, molarity or molality. Chemists find it more useful to measure concentration of solutions in moles per litre or moles per cubic decimeter. Let us try. The molarity of the copper 2 sulfate solution you have just prepared is 1 mole per cubic decimeter. Now let us prepare a known concentration of sodium hydroxide solution using 2 moles of sodium hydroxide. What is the molarity of the solution you have just prepared? The concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution you have prepared is 2 moles per cubic decimeter. From the activities that we have carried out, can you now explain the meaning of the term molarity? Yes, molarity is the number of moles of a substance that are dissolved in 1 cubic decimeter of solution. It is also called molar concentration and abbreviated as capital M. Let us see how we can convert the concentration of a solution from mole per cubic decimeter to that in gram per cubic decimeter and vice versa. We can calculate the mass of a substance by multiplying the number of moles of the substance with its molar mass. We can calculate the number of moles of a substance by dividing its mass with its molar mass. The two units of concentration can thus be interconverted using the relationship shown. What is the molarity of a sodium chloride solution with a concentration of 5.85 gram per cubic decimeter. The molarity of sodium chloride solution with a concentration of 5.85 gram per cubic decimeter is 0.1.1 mole per cubic decimeter. What is the concentration of 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid solution in gram per cubic decimeter? The concentration of 0.5 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid solution is 18.25 gram per cubic decimeter. Let us calculate the number of moles of a solution in a given volume of a solution using this equation. We can rewrite the equation using the letters N, M and capital V, where N represents the number of moles of solute present. Capital M the molarity of the solution, and capital V, the volume of the solution in moles per cubic decimeter. Try solving these problems using the equation. The volumetric flask contains 1 cubic decimeter of 0.1 mole per cubic decimeter hydrochloric acid. The volumetric flask contains 250 cubic centimeter of 1.0 mole per cubic decimeter ferric chloride solution. In this lesson, you have learned that 
amount of solute in a solution can be measured either in grams or moles. Concentration of solution is the amount of solute or grams or moles dissolved in a given volume of a solution. The concentration of a solution is either in gram per cubic decimeter or mole per cubic decimeter. The higher the concentration of a solution, the greater the amount of solute dissolved in the solution. The concentration of a solution, gram cubic decimeter, can be converted to its molarity, mole cubic decimeter, and vice versa. The number of moles of a substance present in a solution can be calculated according to the following relationship. 